Your statewide news network covers Allen County. Purdue University Fort Wayne just extended its indoor mask mandate through January 31st. It actually applies to all of their students, their faculty, their staff, and visitors inside campus buildings, regardless of your vaccination status. The school also says it's monitoring the rapid rise in cases and the recent emergence of the Omicron variant. This comes as Indiana hospitalizations surpassed 3,000 for the first time since December 23rd of last year. As hospitals all around the country reach capacity and beyond, one nurse in Michigan breaks down the cycle of watching unvaccinated patients die from the virus. To feel like you have this like earth shattering secret and that a lot of people aren't listening in it. And then we see them in our ER and our hospitals and we feel so bad for them and to watch them die and wish you could help them. That's, it's, it takes a toll. Dr. Fauci said today Omicron will be a challenge. He says two dose vaccines aren't doing well against it, but he also says getting a booster will keep many people out of the hospital. There's no doubt that we can say that optimal protection when you're dealing with an mRNA is with three doses. There's no doubt about that, both for the durability of the infect of the protection as well as the protection against the Omicron variant. New data out of South Africa shows the Omicron compares to other variants and how Omicron responds to Pfizer's vaccine. We'll break down that research and further uh, for you in our next half hour.